There are only about 15 Leonardo's known. To say I have found a picture like this is just so far-fetched. You're just going to look like a fool. This is the most improbable story that has ever happened in the art market. It's not even a good painting. So I find this painting that's cataloged as after Leonardo. The lost Salvatore Mundi, the savior of the world. For whatever reason, this picture attracts my attention. And we decided to buy it. The painting was very damaged, and I removed some retouching. My hands are shaking. No one could have painted this except Leonardo. The joke was that that was a contemporary painting because 90% of it was painted during the restoration. Something's fishy here. But that's ridiculous. We have extensive technical analysis of the picture. Infrared, new x-radiography. It's been authenticated. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> It should be Leonardo attributed. If it was by the hand of the master, then it would be exponentially upon exponentially more valuable. It was worth in excess of $200 million. This is the male Mona Lisa. You're now buying a global celebrity. Pour négocier ce tableau, j'utilisais un ami à moi qui est un ancien joueur de poker. C'est du jeu commercial. It's not about art and love. It's about money. It's about transferring funds. Whenever there's a lot of money involved, the world becomes a bunch of worms intertwined. You can stick it in the desert and lure tourists. It's not just art history. It's world politics. Everybody was complicit in dreaming up lost Leonardo da Vinci. Nobody really cares what the truth is. 240 million. 300 million. 400 million. So, this is the most expensive painting ever sold in the history of the art world. Where the hell is that painting? Nobody knows where it is. 